and welcome to Morning Markets with True Potential. Checking up on the news and, and data flow from last 24 hours. Starting here from the UK, we had a positive start to the day, uh, but we couldn't get, uh, keep the gains as the US market opened in a deeply negative territory. In fact, we saw big falls in the US markets across the board that continued to weigh on, on the U UK trading sessions in the afternoon. Uh, what triggered that f big fall in the U.S. market were the weaker uh, results from uh, uh, two big retailers, Target and Walmart, which continues to indicate that stagflation, high cost, uh, uh, costs are uh, taking a burden on, on earnings and uh, outlook for, for the rest of the year. Uh, in fact, that was felt across all, uh, all consumer sectors. Uh, again, the stagflation worries continue to, uh, to weigh on sectors overall. Uh, then this then quickly uh, fizzled into uh, other sectors with technology sectors coming particularly uh, under pressure with slowing growth uh, sentiment coming back into the market. Uh, big tech uh, spared all, most of their gains from last couple of trading sessions uh, as, as uh, investors pr uh, continue to mull over the prospects of, of faster uh, tightening uh, uh, from the central banks. What triggered that, uh, that fear again was uh, the speech from uh, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell on Tuesday who indicated the central bank is ready to, uh, to tighten faster if need be. Uh, their main focus continues to be inflation, bringing that inflation mark down in the, uh, as, as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, another factor perhaps that played into the, uh, that negative sentiment overall was the weaker uh, housing data. We saw uh, how new housing starts were much, much weaker than, than expected. Uh, what was baking into that weak, uh, weakness in the housing starts was again the supply chain, const uh, supply chain constraints we have been speaking to you over the past uh, a few months. And also there is a labor shortage which, which they are, uh, the companies are not able to get enough labor to st uh, start new homes. So that continues to weigh on the overall negative sentiment in the US. Uh, the, the two bright spots uh, yesterday were the emerging markets and, and Japanese equities where we saw marked uh, positive performance overall. Though Japanese equities have given back those, some of those gains uh, early this morning. Uh, move away from equities, uh, if you focus on, on bond market, some interesting moves in bond market. We started seeing uh, bond, bond yields coming down, the safe haven bond yields coming down, while spreads, risky assets spreads uh, continue to widen out. Why we uh, believe this is an interesting move? Still early days, but we, we believe that there is, a, there is some breakdown in the correlation, the positive correlation we have seen in bond deals and equities overall, where you saw bond deals uh, grinding up and risk assets and equities also losing at the same time. So it's still early days, but uh, as, as I alluded earlier, but I think it's an interesting move from portfolio construction and portfolio management perspective that there is some weaker linkage in, into the bond markets and, and equity markets. Uh, what is triggering that? Perhaps the indication that uh, yields in, on bonds have, have moved uh, enough for investors to start dipping into the safe haven buying assets. Uh, and as investors continue to remain concerned about the overall economic growth in the economy, perhaps bond, bond, uh, government, bond yields can, government bonds can uh, cushion some of those pains if there is a pain coming out from equity markets. So it's an interesting diversification of benefits which, ha which have been missing for the rest, uh, rest of the year so far uh, have been uh, come back into the market. Uh, looking ahead, tomorrow we get a UK retail sales uh, data. Uh, expectations are for the softer data, but again, uh, it'll be marked improvement for the much, much weak data we got in the March, uh, March prints. Uh, we'll keep you posted on how they evolve from there. We'll leave it there for now uh, and we look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Subscribing to the True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to the channel on your desktop or through the YouTube app on your phone and click the subscribe button. You can then press the notification bell symbol if you wish to be notified as and when new videos are released. Doing this is a great way to keep yourself updated with market developments and personal finance insights. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and we look forward to continuing to help you do more with your money.